What is up, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. We finally finished uh, the daily missions or the Duelist Cup missions. And in all honesty, I have no intention of grinding my way through the uh, stages of the Duelist Cup. All I ever cared about was clearing the missions, get the... Uh, the gems and then just get on out of this mess so anyways back to rank duels and this hand um it's whatever with it and of course fat 60 is what my opponent is on normal mantis there's the ash One set, Mantis into Sarah, and another set. D Fisher, Soul Absorption, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Opponent gives me Dogaran, and his opponent gets Jizukiru. 500 boost, set monster, Jizuku over Dogaran, I take the 3, opponent gains another 5, so already at 9,000, 1 set, normal Marmilio, banquet of millions, and of course, uh, if anyone knows the FTK, OTK strat of DD Dynamite. It consists of Banquet Millions, Trap Trick, and DD Dynamite to pull this off. But at the same time, due to the small amount of extra deck cards, uh, the DD Dynamite trick cannot be pulled off as if, obviously, the card is at 2, aka DD Dynamite. So in this case, uh, we already used the one Sarah, so eight minus one, seven cards from my extra deck. And because this is the opponent's banquet of millions, I believe uh, all seven at random will be banished face down while I lose my seven. And of course, I get mine back, so. Opponent gains 7,000 at 16,000 life. There's the desires. Extra 5,000, 21K. Get Stogaran. 21,500. 22,000. I take another three. Twenty two thousand five hundred. And it's been around twenty banished cards. So if I'm reading this right about the face down monster, this has to be. Grand Maju, because if I attack that set monster, which happens to be Grand Maju, we literally lose. Normal Nepenthes. Nepenthes into Sarah. Solo Absorption Game 5. Break off trap hole in response. More life points later are from soul absorption. And of course, Sarah, um, specialist Mermilio to kill a D Fisher. And as for the uh, break off trap hole, 
What do we hit? Uh, Jisukiru. And turns out it was not Grandma Ju when it was Absolute King Bagjack. Sarah said something. Two together for Chatrix Calaria. 18. Calaria. Revive. Mermilio. Kill the soul absorption. No more life point gain. Set a back row. And a hard pass. Shift Mermilio to attack. Normal summon Vesiculo. Yo! Shatter foil trap trick. Let's go. Trap trick into evenly match. So in this context, um, if I dare go straight to battle phase immediately, we literally lose everything. At the same time, we don't want to pay half of our life off from judgment. So we'll see if we can find a alternative big brain maneuver for that matter. Link off Mermelio into Sarah. Flips up the barrier. Sarah triggers. One more Mermelio in there. Kill the evenly match that was already set. And then Sarah set the grave digger. And then all the trap tricks ladies go to work on the damage. Calaria. Revive Mantis. Normal Necroface. Solemn Judgment at the Necroface. Set Floodgate. Shift Mantis to attack. And everyone goes to work for more damage. Allure Darkness. There's Necroface. Necroface triggers. Psych. Grave Diggers Trap Hole. Take that, 2000. Reset button. Sarah. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Hmm. Quite the hit. Sarah gets a track. And one set. Calaria. Mamilio. Vesiculo. Mantis and eight tracks for lethal. I'm convinced that the set he had this whole time, it has to be waking the dragon. So let's see what's up with the opponent's list. So, Levy, Levi, Macro, Bank when a million, three of them, three Trat Trick, three Emily Match, Reincarnation, and double DD Dynamite. Turns out there is no Waking the Dragon. But other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this replay. Be, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already, Hit that notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated and we'll catch you guys next time.